Welcome to the men of integrity, men that rescue men and women. We're delighted that you've joined us again tonight for a journey through the Word of God. God has been wonderful, marvelous. He's done exceedingly and abundantly above all that we've been able to ask or think that He could do. And I'm sure that you're receiving those kind of blessings if you're receiving this Word that is being delivered during this hour. Call a neighbor, call a friend, and tell them that the men of integrity are on the air at this particular time. There's a life-changing word for you tonight. I have with me tonight Apostle J. Edward Fisher, Saint Center in Coppers Cove, Texas. Greet the people tonight. All right. Well, it's a joy just to be before you on tonight, and um, I'm ready to get into the Word of God. You know, this is around uh, the area that i um, I really uh, have a, a great, uh, I don't know what you would call it, a great zeal for it. Uh, I just like to be talking about the book of Mark. Amen. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. This is your season. This is your time. This is the time that God has chosen to bless you. This is the time that God has driven every enemy out of his hiding place. Mm -hmm. And he is saying unto you, whosoever will, let him come. Let him come, let him come and drink freely of the waters of life. I come to tell you that you no longer have to be who you are. You can have faith to move mountains, power to defeat the enemy, and strength to endure all things. Yes, that's the promise that God has spoken over your life in this day and time. And so now you need to embrace it by faith mm -hmm. and believe that God is on your side. What does that scripture say? If God be for us. Uh, who can be against us? Amen. <laughs> who can be against you if God be for you? Well, as we get into this word, I want to remind you that we are still looking for God faith partners to sow the seed of faith into the KPLE ministry. KPLE ministry is doing a fabulous job in getting the word out in this region about a God that is concerned about his people. Mm. So the address is on the screen. Pick up a pen, write a check tonight, send it to the KPLE television station that you can be a partner in being somebody else's blessing. The Word of God is found in Mark 11, 22 through 24. And Jesus answering and said unto them, Have faith in God. Mm -hmm. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced tonight that this text, this statement that comes out of Mark's mouth is the pivotal turning point of every person on the earth. All right. They must have faith in God. Mm -hmm. Many people have faith, but it's not in God. Mm -hmm. And so for you to be able to do what the writer is suggesting here, you have to first ensure that you have unwavering faith in God. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, looking at the text and everything, and I remember a long time ago uh, uh, looking at this text, and the Lord brought me back to when I was in, like, um, middle school, you know. Uh, uh, it says whenever, there's a, whenever a sentence starts with a verb, mm -hmm. you is understood. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? <laughs> and so the Lord kept saying, kept showing me, said, have faith in God. I said, you have faith in God. Yes. You have faith in God. You have, you got to, you got to make it personal. It's not just a blanket statement or a general statement, but it's a personal statement. Yes. You know, when I look at this text, he says that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, mm -hmm. suggest to me that there are going to be mountains in your life. All right. There's going to be some things that seem so humongous in your life that you can't climb over it, you can't go around it, you can't get under it. You're going to have to have the power to speak to it mm -hmm. and require that thing to be moved. Yeah. Now, that means that you can't pick it up, <laughs> you can't push it over, and you sure can't pull it down. Uh -huh. You're going to need a force greater than yourself 
that is able to move at your command. Yeah. And yeah. the writer says you're going to have to have faith in God. Yeah. There was a song that people <laughs> sing, uh, I used to sing a while back, and they said, climbing up the rough side of the mountain. Well, you know, uh, most of us are not climbers anyway, yes. not in shape <laughs> to do it, and you're going to you take a chance on getting killed. Yeah. And, the Lord, <laughs> and the Lord didn't say climb it. He said speak to it. Yes, that's right. And tell it to get out your way. So, so you know, I mean, it, it sounded good and it sounded wise, but that, that's not what the Lord said. <laughs> yeah, that was an old song that I used to love to hear too, but I, I really don't want that to happen in my life. But the song sounded good. It said, yeah. Lord, you don't have to move my mountain, oh, no. but give me the strength to climb. <laughs> now I want to be climbing no mountains, there not at go. my age right now. I want to be able to open my mouth and speak the word of God and have the God to back me up. Yeah. In the 24th verse, when we look at this text, it mm. says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, uh -huh. believe that you shall receive them and you shall have them. That's a mouthful right there oh, yeah. in oh, that yeah. particular text here. What things soever you desire. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful statement right there because we have all kinds of things that we desire. But we're talking about the believer. We're talking about those that understand the Word of God and know how to operate within the parameters of God's yeah, Word, yeah. that God says, hey, if you need something, if you desire something that advances the kingdom of God or that makes you a greater servant of the kingdom, he says, then I need you to do what most people don't like to do and what the enemy fights you to do, and that's pray. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you you got to pray. Yeah, yeah, And, and yeah, you can't yeah. be a person with a prayer time. You have to have a person that has a prayer life. Yeah, yeah. yeah? I, I, I got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then he says, believe that you shall receive them. Mm -hmm. So here we are wanting something from God that requires us to pray for it, but then it requires us to believe against all odds. Yeah. And we shall receive those things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, just let me just a little digress just a little bit. Um, it says, you know, a lot of people have great desires, but God says, oh, I know you should have need of before you ask. I yes. know that. Yes. Well, you got to put it in believing words. Well, all right. That's the problem. The problem yeah. is, man, I desire to do a great work. All right. You desire to do a great work. But he says, you got to put it into words. You got to yes. put it into prayer. No words, nothing moves. Remember when God, uh, 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 in Genesis, uh, the spirit was just hovering over creation, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But nothing happened until God said something. Yes. And nothing is going to happen until you say something, and then you just can't say anything or uh -huh. say it any type of way. You're going to have to believe what you say. Absolutely. And that really <laughs> comes from sitting down and understanding yeah, the go. word of God. That's right. Faith is not a blank sheet of paper. Come on now. It's not stepping out on nothing and believing something to happen. It's being able to obey and live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, Matthew 4 and 4. Yeah. Now, in Romans 1 and 17, mm -hmm. he says, Therein is the righteousness of God revealed yeah. from faith to faith, right. as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. The just shall live by faith. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you look at Romans 1 and 17, it, it, it says in the King James Version, reveal. Mm -hmm. But really, if you think about that, he's saying, for the righteousness of God is maintained. Good, good. You come into righteousness by faith, but in order to stay in righteousness, you must stay in faith. Praise God. And you must get out of, get out of this world in faith. The minute you drop out of faith, watch this here, you jeopardize your righteousness, and then there's no justification for God to justify you. So faith, we have to, we start in faith, but we have to end. People are dropping out of faith, but when they drop out of faith, they're dropping a whole, uh, 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 they're dropping their whole life that God has called them into. So faith is definitely important. And so yes. we have to maintain it by constantly advancing, remember it says, be steadfast, yeah. unmovable, always. We can't take we can't, we can't take vacations on our faith life. Praise God. And there's no retirement yeah. in our faith life. See, so Praise we have God. to we have to maintain this from faith to faith. You come in, and the only way out is through faith with God. You get out any other way, and you out. 
That is <laughs> not a faith, it's, it's sin. Mm -hmm. There you go. And, and, and when, we, when we begin to digress in faith, mm -hmm. that, that uh, wavering faith, James mm -hmm. says, let that man think that he shall not receive anything from the there Lord. There you go. And see, it's so often that our whole heart and our minds and everything is poured into something, but it's not on faith. Come on. Eh? And we get heartbroken and we get shattered because these things are not coming to pass. Well, they don't come to pass just because. Mm -hmm. They come to pass because you have prayed and you have believed. And then the writer says you shall receive them. It's just like you said, from faith to faith. faith yeah. You got to start with faith. When you get in the middle and the boat start rocking, you have to maintain, maintain faith. Maintain and then faith. at the end of the thing, you have to be standing in faith in order for this thing to happen in your life. Yeah. You know, God needs people that are of faith. Mm -hmm. You have to be a man or woman of faith in order to please God. Mm -hmm. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yeah, and that's what gives God, gives God pl uh, pleasure. And that's what he desires uh, of the people, to only just be believed. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? No, no. And, and, and God is not moved by your circumstances, but he is moved by your act of faith. Yes. See what I'm saying? You can cry all you want to cry, but after you get through crying, you're going to have to do something in faith because you're dealing with God is a faith, a faith being. Yes. And um, he doesn't, watch this here, he doesn't try to just reason with you about why you should believe, but he does command that you do because yes. he can produce. <laughs> My goodness, that, that's mm -hmm. good. God empowers his children there you go. to believe him, mm -hmm. to serve him, to glorify him through the power of faith that he gives to us. Mm -hmm. Now, faith has to expand. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has to grow mm -hmm. because there, there, there are some people, I like to put it, you have salvational faith, which is the grain of mustard seed. But now you're at a place in your life where you need to be able to pray and believe God for your miracle, All right. for your blessing. All right. That disease and <clears throat> those circumstances require you to be able to stand strong in the faith, believe in God, and then you see the miraculous power of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus says to Martha and Mary, did not tell you that if thou believe, you shall see the glory of God. There you go. And then it comes the next level of faith, I believe, that where you're now able to reach down and pull your children out, mm. pull your spouses out, pull your loved ones and friends out, even your enemy out, because you're now at that level of faith that causes you to operate in the ministry of reconciliation. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, faith is just, I mean, it's invaluable in our lives. We can't really do without it. And um, especially in the area of spiritual warfare, right? Yes. It says, watch this here. You may not have on the helmet of salvation. You may not have your shoes girded about with, with peace. But he said, above all, though, you better grab some faith. Yes. Because the enemy was going to shoot those fiery darts after you. And, um, you know, the, the, the shield of faith is big enough that if you didn't have a helmet on, you can at least stick your head behind it. You yeah, understand what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> do you believe tonight? And what do you believe God for? Come on now. Or are you just a believer? But Mark says, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at Jeremiah 32 and 27, God puts it out there like this. He says, behold, in other words, take notice. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord, all right. the God of all flesh. Take notice of who I am. Mm -hmm. Is there anything too hard for me? Mm -hmm. So he says, that's not a reason why you should not have faith in me. Right. Because of who I am, what my capabilities are. And so now not, not only must we be a people that have faith in God, we have to be a people of action. That's right. Okay? You have to do something. And Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 8, okay, it says this, Acts, and you shall be given to you. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that acts and receive it, and he that seek it, find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be open. Mm -hmm. So if you never open your mouth or never take an action, of faith, how can you receive anything that comes from God? Right, and that's why he said, he said, I, I know what you have need of, but you're going to have to put it in, uh, uh, put it in words. You yes. know, words is the is 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 the legal tendon of what you give to God in faith uh, uh, to get from God the things that you need. But you're going to have to uh, speak to it. That's why when you when we read the text, you gave us our text. He said, if you say. 
-hmm. unto the mountain. When you pray, yes. you know, words, 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 words. You got you to gotta say something uh, in faith. And a lot of people are, uh, are, are great talkers, but you can't get them to talk po positive about it. Say, well, I say, you believe God can? Yeah, well, I believe God can do anything. I say, then why don't you ask him? He said, well, no. You know, when, you start, when they start saying, well, you know that's a problem there. Those are some powerful words, mm -hmm. if, <clears throat> when, mm -hmm. ye shall. Yeah. And a lot of times we don't get, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't get to the when, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> because we are afraid to do the if. The enemy fights us at the point of if, okay? Yeah. Uh, what they gonna say if I do this? Mm -hmm. What they gonna think about me if they hear me saying this? Mm -hmm. So I never get, to, <clears throat> excuse me, to the if, but when a believer believes God, mm -hmm. When a person is locked into what the Word of God really says, then they're going to get past the if, and they're going to do what God says right. when it is necessary. I love this particular uh, verse of Scripture. It's found in Jude 1 and 3. Okay. It says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that yeah. you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints. Yeah, now I like that. Uh, we're talking about the faith that was once delivered. See, today I don't know what we're talking about, but we have to go back because uh, the Word hasn't changed, God hasn't changed, but we kind of change, uh, I, I guess, sort of saying with the culture, with the time. But no, no, not, not God. And so uh, uh, just in the first century, Jew, Jew, Jew was not really out of the first century mm -hmm. and already they was having problems with people uh, um, embracing another gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And Jews said, I got a right to you and tell you, you got to contend for the faith which was once mm -hmm. delivered to the saint. That, you, know, you know that faith we had when we, when we came oh. into the Lord? Yes, yes. You know, some people say, well, I don't feel like I used to feel. Well, I'll tell you why you don't feel like you used to feel, because you don't do like you used to do. Yeah. You know, it's very important to maintain mm -hmm. what is being delivered by That's God. Right. Faith hasn't changed over That's all right. these centuries. Faith has not changed. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the old saints, they had what we call action faith. All right. Now, let's, let's look at a few of these. In Joshua chapter 10, mm -hmm. verses 12 through 14, Joshua commanded the sun to stand still so Israel could defeat the Amorites. Right. 24 hours the sun stood still so that they could defeat their enemy. We don't see those people asking God to do those miraculous kinds of things anymore, but they were people of faith. They believed that God could do whatever whenever to bring about the glory that was due his name. Yeah. In Joshua chapter 14, verses 6 through 16, 85-year-old Caleb believed God for the power to defeat a mountain infested with giants, mm -hmm. and God gave him that mountain. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we start fearing by the terror that comes by day, Okay? And the arrows that come by night. Mm -hmm. okay? and, and we run and we hide. We don't want to deal with those types of things. But here, Caleb looked at the situation and he said, we're well able to take them. That's right. Okay? And then 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 1 through 54, a teenage boy named David believed God for the power to defeat a great giant named Goliath. Mm -hmm. And God gave him the victory. Yeah. We have to have faith in God, Apostle. When we have faith in God, there is nothing too hard for God to do. Yeah, well, you know, um, uh, John said it this way in, in uh, the first John uh, uh, chapter 5, verse 4. He said, he said, whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. Yes. And this is the mm. victory yes. that overcometh the world, our faith. Yes. See? Yes. And so, and that's what God wants us to use, this faith that will overcome everything that the world throws at us. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And so, uh, and, I, and as I was listening to you about Joshua and Caleb, watch this here, it's through the, the right words. Because remember, those are really the only two older guys mm -hmm. that went over into the promised land. Yes. And, 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 and watch this here. And because of what they said, they said 
of, about God, what the word says about God. My goodness. And, it, and, and Caleb said, Caleb says, I was, he said, I was 45 years old. Watch this here, when that happened. He said, now I'm 85, mm -hmm. and he said, I still have the strength to go in and out as a young man. Give me my mountain. My God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And so faith, faith will do not only over, have us to overcome the world, but even the uh, time mm -hmm. that the world produces. That man kept his strength. Yes. Moses yes. kept his sight. You understand what yes. I'm saying? Yes. And of course, the Hebrew boy uh, was delivered of the fire because of their faith. So yes. faith is important. Where is your faith mm -hmm. and what is your faith in? The writer says, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. The emphasis of that command is that people should have a deep, settled, constant, ongoing confidence in who God is, mm -hmm. what God has said, and what God will do. Mm -hmm. I said you have to be deep, settled, consistent, and have an ongoing confidence in who God is, what God has said, and what God will do. Mm -hmm. But it speaks of a constant communion of prayer with God, mm -hmm. dependence upon God, and obedience to God. And you have to stop and think about how many people live in that parameter of that little paragraph right there. Mm -hmm. okay? you, we, we must change our ways. We must really get deep and rooted in God in order to see the glory of God through faith. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. He is encouraging faith in the promises of God's word. Yeah, and that makes me think of this here. The Bible says, uh, 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 follow God as dear children. Yes. You know how children, they mimic their, their parents. Mm -hmm. You know, you see the little girl, she'll have on high heel shoes because mm -hmm. you see a mother have on high heel shoes. Yes. The boy will put on something he see his father. Yes. And so... Uh, actually, one of the translations says about uh, Matthew, uh, uh, well, um, Mark uh, 11 and 22, it says, use faith like God uses it. Mm -hmm. Now, how does God use his faith? He speaks it. Yes. He talks. Yes. And so then that's why he says in the next verse, say unto the mountain. Yes. That's why, how does God get things done? He says it. Yes. And so we got to start acting like, we got to be like children, right? Mm -hmm. We got to walk around here and say, peace, be still. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus said so. My, that, that, <laughs> that, that's really good. So you must be a people of faith, Come on. a people of action. That's right. And then the third thing that we want to share with you is this. You must be a people that have an active God in your life. All right. God wants to be a part of your life. Oh, yes. In Isaiah 1 and 18, mm -hmm. he says, come now, let us reason together. Said the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, and though they be red like crimson, they sh shall be as wool. The first thing that you have to be able to understand is that God wants to work things out with us. Yeah. He wants us to believe that he loves us, mm -hmm. have faith in him that he is able and willing to forgive us of our sins and remove our sins that we might have a relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and uh, you, you're saying it. God is not trying to hide from us. He really wants to reveal himself to us, but only through the channel of faith. You said it earlier. Um, Jesus told Martha, he said, now if you want to see, mm -hmm. now you want to mm -hmm. see the glory of God, you're going to have to get some faith. Wow. <laughs> if you want to see the glory of God, you're going to have to get some faith. If yeah. you want to see some things turned around in your life, Come on. if you want to see your family healed, Come on, if you want to see your finances get better, glory to <laughs> God, you want to have some joy, peace, and righteousness, you're going to have to get some faith. Well, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, Call upon me and I will answer thee mm -hmm. and show thee great and mighty things which thou did not know it. Uh -huh. I said, I'll show you how to get some faith. Yeah, yeah. And then Romans 10, 17 say, says, so then faith cometh by hearing yes. and hearing by the word of God. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to get in that word. <laughs> you're going to have to, that's one reason why you come to church. You come yes. to, you're not coming to church just to, uh, just to come. You come in because they're giving faith over there. All right. And I got to get me <laughs> some of that, right? <laughs> well, Proverbs 3 and 6 says, in all thy ways acknowledge him. 
and he shall direct thy path. Mm -hmm. God is trying to show you how to get this faith. I, I, I like that, man. I'm going to start using that. <laughs> Come on over here to the rivers. We're giving out faith. <laughs> <laughs> and faith, go to God, will amen, give you the opportunity to be blessed. Yeah. In Deuteronomy 31 and 6, look mm -hmm. what he says. Be strong and of a good courage. Mm -hmm. Fear not, mm -hmm. nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, it is he that doeth going with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Mm -hmm. He passing out faith. So <laughs> passing out faith. That, 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 that's right. That's what we're doing. We're passing out faith. So you need to know why you're coming to church. And then when the man of God is standing there preaching, he's passing out faith. And, 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 and if he's passing out faith, he's passing out um, a way to get, uh, get everything that God has for you right to say over into your life yes you know god may have been uh, have given everything to us but we got to get it from we got to get what is ours into our life and the only way you're going to bridge that is that you're going to have to build a bridge of faith to bring it over and that's the problem <laughs> it's here for us but we can't get it over because we don't have no bridge of faith. We don't have no bridge of faith. But we're passing out some faith tonight. <laughs> you like that. We're right? passing out some faith tonight. And so that's true, you, brother. You that's want true. Some faith, glory to God. You that's lock true. into what we're saying. That's true. Listen, I want you to hear this particular text in Mark 10 and 30. Mm -hmm. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Mm houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and land with persecution and in the world to come eternal life. Mm. Listen, you're being blessed if you believe God even in tribulation. Come on now. There's never a time that the blessings of God does not appear and manifest when a person is operating in the faith in the word of God. So I'm telling you what the Apostle Paul, <laughs> Apostle uh, 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 Fisher is saying to you today. He man, yeah, I've got enough. I'm closing my Bible. <laughs> he says that you need to go somewhere where they're passing out faith. Yeah. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. You got about 20 seconds. Well, you almost said it all, right? It's impossible to please God without faith. So you got to go find somewhere to go. And I would say, like you say to us, go to the rivers. Rivers is passing out faith. Amen. Come out there where I'm at. I hope I'm passing out faith too. Go, go to Coppers <laughs> Cove and pass out faith. Give them your favorite slogan. See, uh, this, this is going to tell you about this faith. Go well, ahead and tell the people. Will thou be made whole? <laughs> if you want to be made whole, you're going to have to go get some faith. Hey, yeah. God no longer wants to see you broken. He no longer <laughs> wants to see you in despair. Come on, he no man. longer wants to see you in poverty, sickness, and all of that other stuff. God wants to see you healed. Mm -hmm. And when you are healed, you will have been made whole. <laughs> what does it take? It takes faith, faith. in God. God. Have faith in God. Mm -hmm. We are the men of integrity, and we are praying for your faith. Out of your bed, out of your, out of your, share